In today's quick tip video, I wanted to go over a little bit about leash safety. So stay tuned. Let me tell you a story about the baddest dog that ever was. Sneaking food from the fridge, tearing up the garbage. He's a goofy old Dexter the dog. He's a bad, bad Dexter the dog. The baddest pup that there ever was. Seat stealing all day long. Howling like a junkyard dog. When I'm choosing the equipment that I'm going to use with Dexter, safety always comes to my mind. Um, and so over the last, well, pretty much I think since Dexter was one, so probably about the last nine years, I've always think about the way the leash is attached to his harness. And I want to make sure that there's going to be no slipping of that leash. So the typical clasp you'll find on most dog leashes looks like this where you slide down like that and the leash or the collar or harness gets put in like that, right? That's your typical. However, to me, this leash is unsafe and has some risks. And I can say, you know, I've been a dog trainer for over 20 years that I've actually had more than one, probably a half a dozen, of students' dogs getting off of their collars and harnesses that are leashed like this. Because one, this can get loose. So this will start getting loose over time, and then you'll start getting just a little gap there. A lot of times that collar or harness can slip right on out of there. The other thing that I've had that I'm pretty certain is what happened is as their dog is twisting and pulling going for a walk, the ring for the harness or collar starts to push on that and then it slips off. So this type is something I never use for Dexter. Not on anything that's going to be outside. I might have one of these that's hooked up to the sofa in my living room so that I can work on some management and keep him tethered while I'm maybe cooking in the kitchen. But it's not something unsupervised or something that if it comes off he's going to go into the street. So instead, they have a variety of different clasp with more of a safety feature. So this is Dexter's current leash. And as you can see, it doesn't come down like this. So I can't pull it down like this. Instead, it has to push in. So it literally has to push in to be released. And so when I'm putting it on Dexter, it pushes in and goes like that. So there's no way, once it's clipped in there, that this action is going to open it. The only way to get this off is to push in and then release. Much, much safer. They also have the kind that open up, kind of like a clamshell, and do one of these numbers. Um, that's always another option, too. So when you're looking for your leashes, just look at the different ways that they attach. And think about how the dog's going to move around and how safe that is. The next thing you want to think about is, one, we want to attach to a six foot-ish leash. I never recommend attaching to the extendy leashes. I think they're way, way too unsafe. Um, damages happen all the time. Dogs cut their legs. Humans cut their legs. Um, they fray really easily. They get knotted up. There's not a very easy way to hold on to that big plastic box. Um, you have no control over your dogs. I, I just don't like them. And I have used them in the past with my previous dog and I have come across those situations where I grab it because I'm nervous about what's going on and I'm trying to grab that little cord and I've sliced my hand. So instead, you know, look for a leash that's I like six foot because it'll give Dexter the freedom to go potty and I can give him a little extra leash. You can also buy longer leashes if you're going to like the park or the beach and you want to give your dog a little freedom. You can get like a 50 foot leash. Um, they make them in all types. You can get <laughs> Dexter's like, stop it. They do make them in all types. You can get them in a nylon like this. You can get them a little thinner. I actually made Dexter's out of a boat line, so I got a bunch of boat line, um, and then I bought some hardware, and then I put it together. Um, the boat line 
aspect is so it can float. So if you're in the water, it actually will float instead of getting wet and bogged down. But when you're walking your dog as well, you want to think about how you're holding the leash. So I've seen so many people put their wrist like that and hold this. That is a broken wrist waiting to happen. So this is never what I recommend. Instead, I recommend putting it in your hand like this and to get that extra grip is to flip it around once or twice. So if I'm holding it like this, there's no issue about my wrist. And we want to remember that we want to teach our dogs how to walk nicely on a leash so that you don't have to have the death grip. There will also be some information below on some of these leashes and also on how to safely walk your dog and how to teach your dog to walk politely on a leash. And I do like front clipping harnesses. The leash attaches to the chest of the dog. That way, if they're pulling, it's going to bring them back towards you and you'll get a little more control. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and you can even click the little bell icon and you'll be notified of upcoming videos. And if you want to dive deeper into your dog's behavior, training, and care, check out my private Patreon community. The link is below. So remember to pause and enjoy life. And we will see you in the next video.